The notion of pessimism has come into this argument. Could you explain how that figures in the philosophical context and, uh, and, and what weight it carries? Yeah, I'm not sure that it's the right word. Um, what it's used to mean is that um, you, certainly you can't be free in the way we want if determinism is true, but it's no good if determinism is false either. That is not going to help in a- any way. So, you know, you're absolutely caught. That's why it's called pessimism. Um, th- so that's that's really it. And I can, do you want me to? S- I could say about why why it isn't going to help if determinism is false. Yes, determinism. Yeah. Uh, and, and I sympathise with the compatibilist accounts that Simon and Helen are given, but um, what you can't do is think that there isn't any problem, because let's just remember what determinism is. It says that everything you do is determined before you were even born. How can it be fair to punish you or not? So some people think, OK, let's, make determ- let's suppose determinism is false. And some people think modern science actually supports that view. Um, how is that going to help? So here you are, you are as you are now, um, what we want is a little bit of randomness or indeterminism. But how can that help? Suppose something changed in your brain because of a random wave from outer space, and that makes you do something different from what you would have done. How, that doesn't make you responsible for it. That's just chance or luck. Now, that's the general point, that if randomness or indeterminism comes in, that doesn't help with responsibility. It just makes things luck or chance. So if it's anything, it's worse. So it's absolute. What is it? It's, it's a sort of zugzwang or something. You're absolutely stuck on both horns of the dilemma. That's why it's pessimism. You developed a four-stage argument for pessimism. Could you run through well, that? Um, okay, very briefly. I'll give the crude. Ver- I know that the crude version is open to objection, but I mean, so it goes like this. Well, look, here you are. You do what you do in any situation you're in because of the way you are. Right? That's the. So to be truly responsible for what you do. You've somehow got to be truly responsible for how you are. Seems reasonable. But you can't be truly responsible for how you are. So you can't be truly responsible for what you do. Why can't you be truly responsible for how you are? Because, well, what, what, would, that, what would you have to do to be truly responsible for how you are? You'd have to somehow make yourself the way you are, right? Uh, so, but if you, if you did somehow make yourself the way you were, you'd have to already be some way to choose the way you wanted to make yourself be. And where did that come from? You'd have to get back behind that too and, and um, determine what that was. And what you get is a classic infinite regress. You just can't get back behind yourself in such a way that you could really be said to be responsible for how you are.